hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an often genetic condition that causes the heart muscle to get excessively thick. This can lead to symptoms of shortness of breath and chest pain. At UT Southwestern, we're the HCM center of excellence with the highest volume in the state of Texas. We treat HCM with a multidisciplinary team-based approach composed of surgeons, electrophysiologists, imaging cardiologists, heart failure cardiologists, and interventional cardiologists. The thing that separates this program from others, not only in this state, but in the country, is the collaborative effort between the pediatric and adult physicians who are all part of one team. Anything from medical management to transplantation, you can get everything here. We meet every month, we discuss all the patients, we can come up with the best treatment for the patient, and each patient is completely different. We often think about the symptom pyramid in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, so at the base of the pyramid is where the vast majority of patients are, and these are asymptomatic patients who may not even know that they have the disease. At the tip of the pyramid are the patients who may become more symptomatic, and then further along at the top of the pyramid, the most symptomatic patients who, despite medications, can't really have their symptoms controlled, then will often recommend the procedure to get rid of that extra bit of heart muscle, which is frequently the cause of the symptoms. One aspect of the heart that hypertrophic cardiomyopathy patients have trouble with is arrhythmias. These arrhythmias can be in the form of atrial fibrillation and sudden cardiac death. AFib is a chaotic rhythm of the upper chambers of the heart. The treatment options for AFib are anticoagulation, antiarrhythmic drugs, and ablation. In the cath lab, in some cases, we'll do alcohol septal ablations, trying to regress that extra bit of heart muscle using catheter-based techniques. Sudden death occurs because of a very fast heart rhythm that originates in the lower chambers of the heart. Defibrillators, or ICDs, are placed under the skin and they continually monitor the heart and the heartbeat for these abnormal life-threatening rhythms. So it really is a very nice insurance policy for patients. With the hypertrophy patients, we help them with medication management, the functioning of their implanted devices, the defibrillator, the pacemakers. The surgical options can be done in different ways. It's called septal myectomy. We check the heart before the surgery and immediately after the surgery, and we don't leave the OR until we are happy with the results and we see complete resolution of the obstruction. When patients present to us with severe symptoms and they've already had numerous procedures, we can afford transplant, and in many patients, that changes the whole natural history of their cardiomyopathy and gives them great survival with an excellent quality of life. It is really rewarding when you have a pediatric patient that you've cared for. It's very satisfying to know that you got a patient through their formative years with this disease and then they're going on being productive adults and participating in society. Patients with HCM can lead a normal, healthy life. They can live as long a life as people without HCM. This does require good care. This is a team approach to keeping the patient healthy, happy, and to live longer. If you have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, you want to go in a place where there is the experience and the passion. UT Southwestern is the place to go. There's a group of dedicated people here who are very interested in helping people not only feel better, but feel better living with the condition that they have.